I'm going to use the flaky pastry that I made earlier today and make it into sausage rolls. If you haven't made your own pastry, you can of course buy some, but not if you're doing an IGCSE exam where you're required to make it for yourself. The first stage then is to take your pastry. So mine has been in the fridge all of the day and I'm now going to get um, some flour, sprinkle that onto the surface and then I'm going to roll out my pastry like I did earlier. To flour my rolling pin a little bit and I'm going to aim for a similar shape. So a long thin piece and then I'm actually going to go just a tiny bit wider then. Now this morning you put all of those layers in so that means that if this goes wrong, you cannot just scrunch it up, okay? If it goes wrong and you're not happy with the shape, you actually have to fold it again in the same way as we did when we made it, so that you maintain the layers that you put into it. And it needs to actually be quite big. Remember, when, these, when the sausage rolls are made and the pastry gets rolled over into the sausage, it's already going to have quite a lot of layers um, of pastry where it's rolled and fold. Therefore, you want it to be thin so that you're, um, when you're eating it, you don't just feel like you're just eating a mouthful of pastry. Now, if you're just making these at home for um, fun, you can, of course, use um, ready-made pastry. And you just need some puff pastry that you have um, defrosted if it's come out of the freezer. This is the size I'm at now. I actually still need to go a little bit bigger because I'm going to use this with my, um, hopefully with my six sausages. And I'm still not quite there. Near enough. One more roll. I think long wise, that should be good. Okay. So I've got to imagine now that my sausages that I have are going to go down in strips. They're going to actually be out of their casing in a minute. But what I need to do is just check that it is large enough. So I'm just going to line my sausages on. And then I will show you what I mean. Here are the sausages laid out on the pastry. This is just to check that you've got the length right and the width. Because the idea is now that you're going to have to actually fold this over and be able to make it into the sausage roll so you can see now hopefully that it is going to be large enough when I actually do this. The next stage is going to be to actually take the sausage meat out of the casings. This is the bit that people don't like very much because you actually have to squeeze the sausage to get all the filling to come out. Okay, And then you simply lie it back down on the pastry and then we'll worry about making sure they're in the right place in a second. So try not to do anything else at the moment other than do the sausage because obviously you're going to be covered in raw meat and um, therefore you don't want to be touching a load of other things as well if you can possibly avoid it. I'm just sticking the sausage skins, the empty skins, back in the container which the sausages came into. Now in a moment we're going to, as I said, we're going to reshape these. At the moment just concentrating on getting the, um, the filling out. Now you can, um, if you wish, use sausage meat instead of sausages okay and that's absolutely fine but it's not quite flavors as much as sausages and um, with sausages you can get like caramelized um, onion or sausage and apple uh, mine i think were just cumberland um, and of course if you're um, a vegetarian you can use um, vegetarian sausages quite successfully the corn ones are particularly good at making these um, if you wanted to be um, vegan then you can actually use some potato as in like mashed potato and some vegan cheese and mix those two things together and they make a very successful filling um, for the sausage rolls okay I'm nearly there okay so next then the sausage has got to be squished so that you can't see all the gaps between them so you're just going to have to work down them until you're happy and I'll give you an over, overview in just a moment when I've done that. 
So there is the sausage meat laid out on the pastry. The next stage is going to be to um, use some egg, almost like glue, so that when these are actually rolled together, they will stick. So I'm just going to put the egg on now. So you want to go all down the surfaces. And then we're going to use the leftover in a second to glaze it. So the next stage I have now is to actually cut this down the centre. Because obviously I'm going to have two long lines of sausages. Now remember that you're on your work surface, so be careful when you're cutting it. And then the next stage then is going to be to roll it like so. Keep going over and what we want is the join underneath. There they are now, they've been rolled. I've got my two very long sausage rolls uh, and the next stage is going to be to cut them into even sized pieces. So if you are a perfectionist you can get a ruler. If not you probably start need to start going like this is approximately half, there's half again, there's half again and therefore you'll get them into equal size pieces. They're marked out now, so the next stage is going to be to actually cut through them properly and separate them. There they are evenly laid out on the baking tray, which has been lined with some parchment. The next stage is going to be to make slits in the top. There's the slits, the same number and hopefully the same sort of shape and size on all of the sausage rolls. The next stage is to glaze them with the leftover egg that you have. Sausage rolls are now glazed and the final stage is going to be to cook them. Now they need to go into a hot oven. Okay, If the oven isn't hot enough the fat that's actually in there will just melt and the pastry will just be all soggy. Instead you want it to melt quickly and air pockets to form and then hopefully the air pockets will fill with steam and that will raise the pastry and give you a nice flaky golden brown finish. Now it's really important that the sausage meat is cooked all the way through and that the bottoms of the sausage rolls are just as brown as the top. So when you think that they're done on top you're going to have to get a knife and carefully lift one and see if it's brown on the bottom. If you have a food probe then you're looking to have it at least 75 degrees really in the sausage meat and you want it to go up to 75 degrees really quickly to show that the sausage meat is cooked properly. There are the sausage rolls after 20 minutes in the oven. You can see that the ones closest to me are actually quite brown and look like they're done, whereas the ones at the back look like they could do it with a little bit longer. You can just about see the lamination in them though, which is what we wanted. We wanted the pastry to be nice and flaky. So I'm going to remove some of them and put the last few back in the tray to finish off cooking. 